Hello, this is Kevin Thompson from airshowvid.com, and we're here at March Air Reserve Base in Riverside, California for AirFest 2012, Thunder Over the Empire. We're talking to Bob Russell, owner of this beautiful TBM-3 Avenger, World War II-era torpedo bomber. Bob, nice to see you. Uh, we're trying to preserve a piece of history here, which has got quite a, a long story behind it. It was used, of course, mostly in the South Pacific, in the Second World War, of course. Um, and it was manufactured by Grumman, and they made 2,000 of them, and General Motors made 7,000. And there were 2,000 of them that were lost in the war, both in combat, some of them in uh, training, but most of them in combat. Uh, the Battle of Midway, uh, they sent the first uh, group out of eight, and one came back. Uh, so it was a very, very dangerous uh, duty to have. Um, we have the story about George Bush, which is quite interesting to a lot of people that don't even know the story. George Bush, uh, 41. Uh, who was shot down in the South Pacific near the island of Chichijima, and he was rescued by a submarine called the Finback, who kept on the submarine till they finished their tour, and then went back to the carrier uh, San Jacinto and resumed his duties. And uh, his last uh, landing on the carrier was uh, his hundredth landing, so he's distinguished from that standpoint. Paul Newman was a gunner in the turret, which is a 50 caliber turret gunner that uh, swivels uh, around electrically. And we have a torpedo installed. It's a 2,000 pound torpedo. Uh, that, of course, is a look-alike now, so it doesn't weigh 2,000 pounds. <laughs> the specs, it weighs about 18,500 fully loaded, probably weighs 12,5 now. Uh, and. Uh, it goes 170 knots, which is about 200 miles an hour, burns about 70, 65 gallons an hour, and uh, we've, we're kind of proud of it, and we're like, we like to show it to people because it is certainly a piece of history. Another story that I like is Joe Foss, who many people know, that uh, was a friend of ours, lived in Scottsdale the last 20 years of his life. Uh, did, he did missions with this airplane, he didn't fly it, he flew Wildcats, F-4F -F Wildcats, and they went out, eight Wildcats and eight TBMs, and they sunk several uh, uh, battleships and carriers. The Wildcats would divert the, the, the fire from the ships, and the TBMs would come in, had to be at 150 feet above the surface to drop their torpedoes, and uh, so it made an effective team, and they've, they've sunk several carriers and battleships and cruisers. Uh, I guess if you have any questions, I'd like to answer them. Otherwise, I've probably given you all I know about the airplane. Well, you know a lot. That was very informative from its history and operational use. Bob, we thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you for your interest. And uh, more to come from March Air Fest 2012 at airshowvid.com.